garden tour. My name is Jim from Jim Bob's Garden Life. Now we're going to be changing the channel name from Kona Survival to Jim Bob's Hobbies and Gardening. Now the reason why I do that is because it's pretty inaccurate. The tree house is a project that's on hold, but I will be uploading some more videos in due course. I'm going to be away on holiday next week, which means, hey ho, I can um, I can upload loads of videos then, because I won't actually have to film. So all the video, all the treehouse videos that I haven't had time to upload, they'll all go on then, and there'll be a playlist made for it. There'll be like five videos going up, not each day throughout the whole week. So I don't want to be constantly putting videos and upload and editing and that because I do I do I do put so much effort into my editing. <laughs> I definitely do. Anyway, tour around here is my where oh, I store everything. In here is what I bought today on my shopping haul. So I bought some Johnson seeds which are nice. They're quite nice. I find them reliable from Johnson's. Radish, French breakfast style. Not style, but variety. And just some pots that we got. Put them in there. Nice and dry. Water butt. Again, the fill level's quite good in there. Tool sort of station here. <laughs> Look at the spade. And that's, that's pretty much it. For oh, and a beautiful strawberry. Now, these... I've been asked what sort of clothes are these because my gran, she used to work, uh, where was it? Was it Harper Adams? Was it Harper Adams? What was it? It was a big horticultural and agricultural college in Yorkshire. I can't remember what it's called now. Anyway, and she's never actually seen this type of clover before. She worked there. So what it is, is it's green leaf clover. And it's obviously all clovers are pretty much all clovers are nitrogen fixing plants. So I'll take nitrogen from the upper moon soil. You guys have probably already know this by now. If you don't, then I'm gonna make a video about plant facts. So stay tuned for that. And it's boomed really well because of the nitrogen in the soil. So that's really, really good. You don't want too much nitrogen because then obviously other you know, it's just too much that other stuff can't come through. Over here, it's just our normal plants. Well, more flowers. We've got our lovely, lovely sweet peas, which I'm immensely proud of. You guys know, early this year, we frost seeded them, which, that's a bit of a weird technique. I, I, I haven't asked Mike. I'll ask him. I don't know. I don't actually know anyone who's frost seeded. My grand's like a really keen gardener. So when I go around to her place, I'll show off her stuff. But um, she's never frost seeded in her life. She just thinks it's silly. Because if they germinate, it'll kill it. But what you do... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it on my Garden Facts video. Watch that. You need to watch this if you're curious about gardening. Here's my Echium. Lovely, lovely Echium. We put this in about two years ago. Quite slow progress for, for what it was, but we did frost seed it again. And we find that with frost seeding, we do generally get good returns. But not with... Um, a lot of flowers you do get good returns, but with Echium, it didn't seem to be the case. Over here, we've got my Allium. Lovely, lovely plant. Again, big leaves like this to help it photosynthesize quicker. Photosynthesize quicker. So it catches more sunlight. And then that is just beautiful. Really happy with that. Really happy. Oh, and I missed some heather. This is all heather. This stuff here is all a special type of heather. 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 <laughs> heather. I'm pulling out some of the grass that's in there just to tidy it up. I'm going to tidy that up tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is going to be quite a long video, so, yeah. Over here we've got our courgettes. I don't know if I showed you guys my new basil and that, but I will do. Courgettes, looking lovely. We've got some little ones coming up, look. Just to get that in there. Got some little ones, got a little tiny one coming up there. Nothing from this, oh yeah, no, we did have two things from this plant this year. We had five from the big one. We had six on this one, and they're coming up again, so that's really good. These are going to be moving with us, definitely. And stuff that I purchased today, I purchased some radish seeds, which I've planted in here, which are I'm just in season four, just in. Uh, so hopefully they'll all germinate and they'll be good. So, yeah, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. And we've got some basil, little bits of basil in here, really good. 50p a packet these were, so... They're quite cheap, so I'm hoping the quality is going to be good. But it was only 50 pence, so 
you know, but let's just hope they were. They were Johnson's, if you're curious. Because no Johnson's is good. Quality on my cameras. My phone is rubbish. <laughs> Not good. I'm going to have to reinvest. Some of my other videos, I think, I uploaded one it was on much crisper. So, uh, there you go. Thank you for watching. I've been Jim Bob, <laughs> as always. And hopefully you watch next time. My next video will be garden facts, plant facts, and uh, my latest shopping video, which is going to be buying a couple flowers. So, stay tuned. Bye for now.